And now, here's the lady of the house, Cece Winans. Just a whole list of songs you're able to just pull one out of a hat and yeah. perform for us? Yeah, I guess I do have a list now. I've been well, out here a long time. You're part of that singing tradition of the <laughs> Winans family. By the way, how many Winans are there? Ooh, a lot. Um, siblings, I have seven brothers and two sisters, so ten That would make ten children. in total. Mm -hmm. So this is really just a Winans world. We're just, you and I are just <laughs> passing through it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. And you've got another generation coming up. Mm -hmm. I understand. Uh, well, I was in my dressing room. This is a true story. I was in my dressing room yesterday, mm -hmm. and I'm, I don't know, you know, coloring, the, coloring the gray out of my yeah, hair or something, yeah. and I hear in the distance, 
The sun will come out tomorrow. Yeah, and my daughter. It was, and we my got, daughter. It was a slightly smaller voice yes, probably than yes, you. Yes, she's um, all of a sudden, you know, um, now she's interested in doing plays and theater and stuff like that. So it was her first audition. She had her first audition today. Mm -hmm. And today. what happened? She got a call back. So she we'll got see. A call back. Let's, Let's give an applause for Ashley. <laughs> She was very nervous, though. She said... She was very nervous. She said she was nervous. She, she said she hated it. And she you never nervous. get used to auditions, so... No, no, n never. Once never. you get past it, it's never... Usually the job is never as hard as the audition. I know. Right, right. For this job, for oh, one thing. <laughs> oh, It was pretty scary. Yeah, but she did good, so we'll see what happens. But did you get nervous on your first audition or your first oh, song? Oh, my first solo, yeah. Very nervous. I cried probably cried. through the whole song, yeah, in church. Feel my cup, Lord. It was like, feel my cup, Lord. I lifted it up, Lord. <laughs> you know, everybody was moved, and I'm scared. <laughs> you were like two, probably. No, no. My first solo was probably eight. Oh, eight years old? Eight, yeah. And when did you start singing with B.B.? Uh, when I was about 17. And everybody sings. You all are fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. we got a great show ahead, Thank you so much. Well, we have a wonderful show. A wonderful show. We have the Crystal Sounds of Crystal Gale. We have the definitely cool jazz grooves of guitar great Earl Clue. Woo! Woo! Yes. And a powerful singer, formerly with commission, now on his own, Marvin Sapp. Yes. Great. But well, right now, we're going to hear from a gorgeous lady. Please welcome Crystal Gale. Yep. No, he's a mine. We want to give everybody a little time in the spotlight at CeCe's place. So here are our background singers. It's all yours. Crystal Gale visits with CeCe. Right after this. Member of commission. Now he's out on his own. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Marvin Sack. I know that I don't deserve all the things that he done, but you keep blessing me over and over again. Whoa, whoa. I once was lost, deep in sin, till I heard your voice singing, You're my child, come on me in. It was your grace, your grace and mercy. Said it brought me, brought me. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, I don't know what I would do. And then it made me friends. Said it was yours, said it was it yours. Was your grace and mercy brought me through. It brought me through. You see, I'm not what I want to be. But I'm not what I used to be. Since he's cleansed and made, made me whole. Of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus, I'm not gonna be left behind. No, hey, but every day that I wake up, Your grace is your way showing me that you love me so. Love me so. And everything that I give up. It's my way it's your way That's a living in me That I've been set free Oh, 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 
good news. This is the segment on the air where we talk about things that inspire CC, mm -hmm. those things that people do around the world and around the country that, are, that make the world and country a better place. CC, this involves shoe boxes, something I think you know a lot about. Oh, me? <laughs> you have a, quite a collection yourself. Well, I've been in your dressing room. I've seen all those pumps. Um, yeah, well, a few. But I've got a few Doc Martens, Eastlands, yeah, of course. Adidas, and <laughs> one or two pairs of hard shoes. Yeah, tell us about the, come on, the shoe boxes, come on. Well, we are all ready with these shoe boxes, you and I. Mm -hmm. to get involved with Operation Christmas Child, which involves shoeboxes, which everybody has. Right. All you have to do is fill a shoebox with the kind of items that a child would want. And it, it's all part of the world's largest airlift. It takes place around every Christmas. It's organized by Samaritan's Purse, which, whose president is very famous. He's a very mm -hmm. famous daddy. Mm -hmm. Billy Graham's son, <laughs> Franklin Graham, oh, okay. is president right. of Samaritan's Purse. And this has gotten a lot of attention over the last couple of years, and it's something that anyone can do. Individuals, churches, civic groups, you fill shoe boxes. You go and you find one. And these shoe boxes of gifts are delivered to Kenya, delivered to Bosnia, mm -hmm. Croatia, Siberia, Moscow. Okay, well tell me this. How do you shop for a child that's on the other part of the world? Well, that's, that would be tough, but when you think about it, children, just like people, grown-ups, are the right. same more right. or less anywhere. Right. So what you can right. put inside is small toys, candy, items like toothpaste and a toothbrush, and maybe a picture of yourself. All the whinings, all 50 of you, <laughs> you can put in there and... and if it can all go in that shoe And you can write, you know, a gift from our heart to yours. Okay. And that's okay. distributed by Samaritan's Purse. Oh, great, great. That's, that's good news. And anybody can get involved that's around right. Christmas time. So, hey, let's get involved, okay? Let's help some people out. Right. Stay right there, because when we come back, Graham will visit with Marvin Sapp, okay? We'll be right back. And welcome back to CeCe's Place, where I'm talking now with Marvin Sapp, and thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure being here. Love that song. Thank you. It's great. Woke me up. <laughs> we're a little hoarse and, and a little, I have a little cold, but we're doing the best we can. Well, I could not tell. Mm. Last time I saw you was in a video, and I think you were wearing hiking boots. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's when we did uh, the Love is the Way video. Back with Commission. Yep, back with Commission uh, early in the morning. It had to be about 6 o'clock a.m. in Atlanta. Now, when did you leave Commission? I say? left Commission effectively December 1996. All right, we'll talk in a bit about what you've been doing since then. But I understand that your mother, as so many of us, your mother played a very important role in your, you know, the career choices you made. Yeah, when I was a little boy, uh, about 10 years old, did a lot of singing uh, with a community youth group called the Voices of Alexander. And uh, we were singing in different places, 
did a show with Pearl Bailey, uh, did a show with uh, Ray Charles and a few other people. And um, my mother told me, uh, gave me a choice at the age of 10 years old. She said, well, sweetheart, uh, you got to make a choice. And I said, what's the choice? She said, either you're going to sing in the church or you're going to sing in the world, but you can't do both. And uh, at 10 years old, I made a decision. I said, well, I want to sing gospel music. And I've been doing it ever since. And uh, haven't had the mind to, to do anything other than what I've been doing. Do you still feel that way? I do. I do. Um, there's something about uh, the gospel music industry or in gospel music in my life in particular. Uh, music has a spirit. And, and I, I think that when you sing the proper music, uh, it transmits and, 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 and it touches the hearts of people. And, and that's what I've always wanted to do. I, I've always wanted to minister to people and make sure that their needs are met spiritually. And uh, that's what the Lord has opened up the door and blessed me to do. So do you consider yourself... Well, let's talk about what you're also doing, because you're, you, you were singing with commission, but right. you do a lot more than that. Oh, I, I do a whole lot. I'm a husband. I'm a father of a two-and-a-half-year-old son and a little baby that's about to be born any day now. And uh, I'm also a full-time evangelist. Uh, I've been preaching now for nine years, been traveling full-time uh, for about eight years, uh, solo artist on the Word Epic recording label. Um, man, I, I got a lot on my plate. But you, but you were able to squeak in a uh, CC's place interview. Well, you know, I, CC's a good <laughs> friend of the family. I mean, you know, I've loved uh, the Winans and also BB and CC for years. So I mean, when when the the call came about, I jumped at the opportunity. We've been talking a, on other shows about the role that Marvin Winans, who is also a pastor out in Detroit, mm -hmm. what he has, the, the influence he's had, and, and he's also had quite an influence in your life. Yeah, Marvin to me is the epitome of what I want to be. Um, he, he's a pastor, he's a preacher, a songwriter, uh, he's a producer, uh, you know, the whole thing. And, and, and that's what I've always wanted to be, pastor, preacher, singer, songwriter. So um, in this album in particular, we had the opportunity to work with him, which is something that I just, it blew my mind just to have the opportunity to work with him. And uh, he produced three songs on my, on my latest album, which is the title Grace and Mercy. And uh, one of the songs we co-wrote together, which is called Get Praise. And, and you know, when I think about Marvin Wine and say, you know, he's, he's, he's the cream to crop to me, yeah. Well, these are really challenging times we live in with all the stuff that goes on around us. What do you think are the important things you really want to convey to the church as you sing and evangelize? Well, I think one of the most important things is integrity and clarity. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's so many mixed signals that are being sent out nowadays, and, and people are, are losing the message. Uh, the message is being missed. So specifically, when, when I write, uh, I try to, to write songs that deal uh, with relationship as it is with, uh, with Christ and, and to write songs that just meet the needs of individuals. Marvin, are you a singer who evangelizes or an evangelist who sings? <laughs> I'm That's a trick question probably. I know, but <laughs> I, I'm definitely not a singer that happens to preach. I'm a preacher that happens to sing. Because preaching is a gifting and singing is a calling. And uh, I mean, rather, reverse that. Singing is a gifting and preaching is a calling. And uh, when, when I flow and when I function, I want to function in, in my calling rather than in my gifting. So, uh, you know, I, I appreciate my gift my musical ability, but I thank God for the call. Well, you're preaching. called and you're gifted. Thank you. Thanks very much. I appreciate really, it. Really thank you so that. much. Don't go away. There's lots more to come on CeCe's Place. <laughs> It will open your soul and draw you in. The spine-tingling sounds of Bobby Jones... Got From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Yesterday I was thinking of thinking about you Reminiscing about the good times All the bad times you brought me through In the midst 
of them all You're always there for me You remind me that I can't make it over Now When I fell alone You were there beside me In the midst of my storm You call the raging sea how can I repay you for the protection that you give? I made a decision that you are gonna be. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna make it up to you. I would pray now for my journey now, Lord. Made a decision, Lord, but you are gonna live. Now, 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 while I'm sometimes down, sometimes down, but you never let me feel as if I was nothing. For you're always around. It makes a living worth a while So, oh, for the rest of my life For the rest of my life I'm gonna make it all to you Oh, you've been good to me So, there you go I'm good to you Uh-oh, come on, come on. Yeah. Woo! 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 I don't want to leave I cannot imagine leaving without you, Lord Said I don't want to leave you, Lord You, 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 so good Said I don't want to leave you Oh, my God Said I don't want to leave you
cannot see A road he has taken That first step of faith may seem to be a mile But I know he has his will in the making I know he is working out his best for his child I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. for great music right here at my place. That's Cece's place. Good night. and gospel music on the award-winning showcase, Bobby Jones Gospel, followed by Our House with Wilford Brimley and Deirdre Hall, coming up on Odyssey. It will open your soul and draw you in. The spine-tingling sounds of Bobby Jones' gospel. Coming up next, here on Odyssey. Hi, I'm Crystal Gale, and you're watching Odyssey. Experience the power of the human spirit with moving stories of hope and faith. Heroes of the heart. Tomorrow at 10 Eastern...